The US, of course, wins this race for the nuclear weapon. They drop two of these fission bombs on Japan in 1945. The war is over and the world has changed forever. Nothing would ever be the same. It was the beginning of a new way of global conflict. A few years later, the Soviets made one of their own, and thus begins a new race. Who can make the bigger bomb? And this is where the US is like, let's not just do the thing where we break atoms apart, let's do what the sun is doing, fuse the atoms together. That's way more powerful. And they figure it out just a few years later, and the results are insane. Those are capable of megatons of power. A thousand times more powerful. Because apparently, leveling a city was not powerful enough. Let me show you what today's nukes look like and how they work. This is a modern nuclear weapon, sometimes called a thermonuclear weapon, hydrogen bomb. This cone is about the same height as an American male. And the actual bomb is in here. We don't know exactly how big it is, but we know it's shaped like a peanut. This cone needs to be mounted on something to deliver it to the target. In this example, it's on a huge rocket. 